I just want to comment on that issue. If you want to put toll stations all over, please build the new roads and put the toll stations instead of putting toll stations already in, in roads already constructed by the taxpayers' money. So oh, that is an issue exactly. that is not supposed to even to arise. All the existing roads we are demanding we are not going to have toll stations on, on the same. And why, why, do you, why do you want to charge private citizens, citizens of Kenya, why do you want to charge them to use public roads, roads that they contributed money and are even paying through loans? So this is the principle of double jeopardy, where you are charged double. You are charged taxes to build that road, or a loan is taken and you pay for that road, and at the same time, to pass through that road, you have to pay for it. So generally, you should not be charged for using your own road. Which country charges a, its own citizens who are poor to use a road? Imagine. Honestly speaking, even walking, <laughs> even moving, it doesn't want us to move. So anakudarao while you are dead, non living, nanakudarao while you are also moving. We understand that Ruto, we know you very well. You don't respect human beings, maybe because of your background, you did botany. We know that when we <laughs> give you a leave, you are only concerned about stomata. That is why you want to plant 10 billion trees. You are concerned about the apex of a leaf, the midrib, the stalk of a leaf, the stomata, the chlorophyll, and the pollination of a plant. And grafting. And grafting. <laughs> so honestly, respect human beings. Mm. So, Mweshimeo, you can say, talk about something in one minute and then we... Does it still exist? Yeah. Still there? Uh, actually, uh, as a member of Special Funds Committee, we are out in the audit report for this financial year to see how Hustler Fund has really performed. But based on, uh, as an economist and also a, an, an auditor uh, in terms of accounting, I can tell you we are going to have a, 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 an adverse opinion on that fund because even the modality, the board was not and there when it was starting. Mm. The fund was unconstitutional. Mm. Uh, we, we, there's nothing much as actually to comment on the same, but I thank the Kenyans who took the money. <laughs> 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 and by the way, on that note, like I was talking about the newness of things, I don't know what is this issue that uh, uh, president of Kenya has with Ke women of Kenya. I really don't know what the president has with the women of Kenya. I don't know why and what justification he would ever give to the women of Kenya. First of all, for touching on Lida Mama and collapsing it, and then touching on the Women Enterprise Fund. Right now, as we speak, the Women Enterprise Fund is at zero kitty. All the money that was put there in the last year's That's budget, it was all removed. Yes. So the women of Kenya have nothing else other than to dance in yellow clothing uh, during campaigns. But after campaigns, Everything that the women of Kenya had in this government has been scrapped off. And that is why, personally, as a woman, I'm a very, very vibrant uh, uh, advocate of women issues. I feel like the Kenya Kwanza government has zero chills for, for Kenya women. women. Yes. That will not reject. So I think we are, we are okay. Now, yeah, cool, Sana, for your time. <laughs> CNN soldier. Hey, CNN, finally you're here. This is mine. <laughs> I never